Those are cool. Aren't those fun? Are those puffer sweatpants? Yeah, they're puffy and they make me look skinnier because this is puffy. And a designer t-shirt. All right, he's coached some of the most accomplished athletes and has more than 15 million followers across all of social media platforms. Please welcome physical therapist and strength coach Jeff Cavaliere. Good to have Yay. you back, buddy. Still looking good. Nice okay, and lean. Yeah, no, you're... I, it's like looking in a mirror, those arms. Those shoes oh. look like mine, except they're softer. So what are we going to focus yeah. on today? Tell us. So obviously this time of year, a lot of people are going back to the gym, right? Mm -hmm. But they're, they're maybe doing it a little bit unprepared. So they have the ambition, but they don't have the body to put them in, in position to right. succeed. So what, what I think we need to do is look at the causes of what can happen when you're not ready. And a lot of times we see injuries, muscle mm -hmm. strains, ligament. Are those strains. the most common? Yeah, for sure. And, and, and of all the areas, we definitely see the back as mm. kind of a big area. And we're not just talking about the low back, but upper back as well. We have areas that we will, you know, become susceptible if we're not ready. So what okay. we need to do, though, is look at necessarily the cause of what the issue is. Because the back is like a symphony of muscles, like 40 muscles in the back. So it's not usually just the back that is the problem. What happens is something below that is, you know, betraying the back. Okay. And in this case, it's the, it's the glutes. So okay. what we need to do is we need let's, to work on the glutes. Well, let's work on okay. our glutes. All right. yeah. so, I mean, today's the day. Right I'm here. Head back here. Is this my okay. glutes? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So when yes. we work the glutes, yeah. it's not just about lifting up into the movement, but then... I'm glad you're here today to see this. Yes. And then controlling it, too. Okay. So okay. basic bridge, you've probably seen this before. Oh, yeah. Right? But what you need to do is you need to also control yourself left to right. So if you lift your leg up a little bit and prevent yourself from falling in that direction, that's going to help to increase stability from side to side. I right, just okay. got a cramp already. All right, now. This is dangerous. We also know that the upper back, I mentioned, is part of the problem, too. You okay. have to have mobility through your upper back, because if you don't, you're going to lose the ability to function throughout the entire and spine. And we don't need so any equipment for any nothing. of this stuff, this right? This is super easy. No. Okay. So what we do is we combine that glute bridge, okay. but then we reach over, opposite oh. shoulder, try to touch as far back as you can. Okay. And what this does is it actually increases the mobility through rotation of your thoracic spine and also extension. I hear a lot of popping going on back there. Oh, it's just my pants okay. and my jewelry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, what else? So now, turn over onto your stomach. Okay. okay. Oh, so, stomach. Again, I talked about that symphony of muscles in the back. We want to get them to work together in, at the right time, right? So okay. what we do is we take our hands back here. What's this called? Lift your legs. It's angels and devils. I oh. like the angels. All right, so here comes the angel part. So we're going to come all the way up overhead. Uh -huh. Okay. Reach as far as you can. Now, what's happening right oh. now? What are so we working on? Everything from your shoulder blades all the way down to your glutes and hamstrings are working here, right? But we want to be able to make sure that we can do it under control. We're not just flapping around. Right. But we're doing it under control. Right? Very Titanic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, so all the way down, nice and slow, and then back. Okay. Yeah, and it's just a good posture like move. That. That's nice. Yeah, Let's what else? Control. Then we head over to the bench. Oh, so the bench. So here, right. we got something we call reverse Ooh. hyper. I'll demonstrate, and then you can kind of pop Absolutely. It do it. So what you do is you position yourself at the end of the bench. You can easily do this on the edge okay. of the bed at home. Okay. So hips go right at the edge, hold on to the top of the bench. And the important thing is you're not just lifting your legs but you're actually trying to initiate through the glutes. And that's where you're working, your glutes? Yeah. You, you initiate through the glutes. You feel it in your low back also. Okay. But the key is that it starts right there in the glutes. Tighten there, then lift. Because I mentioned how you have to support the low back and the back muscles. Right. If you don't have strong glutes, that low back do is- Do we need to squeeze our glutes while we do it? Yes. So initiate, oh. <laughs> initiate, and then keep your feet together too. Legs together, there you go. Okay. Squeeze and then lift. Okay, we're going to continue wow. and take a break. We'll be right back with more exercises after this. Stay where you are. We are back, everybody, with Jeff Cavalier, and he's showing us a quick and simple back and core workout. So okay, what's, what's next? next? Let's start over at the wall. Because I want oh, to show you, I talked about these muscles and how important they are that we train uh -huh. all of them. So we can't just train that muscle we were training before was the glute maximus. Mm -hmm. We have a glute medius, right? And that controls motion this way. Okay. Right, so what we want to do is you, I just call this a hip drop. You're going to stay some balance on the wall over here. You're going to stand on the wall, but you just let it drop and then drive it over by just letting your leg drive fast. All you're trying ah. to do is basically use that outside hip to drive you back over. My You'll hips are it. tight. My, I can tell. All right, right so now. let it just right. get lazy. So you just drop it. Yeah. My hips don't lie. Right They're like Shakira. <laughs> right? So now, get lazy here, let it drop. Oh, let it drop, drop yeah, it like it's hot. Keep your knees straight, though. Keep your knees straight. Oh, that. What do you, you call go. this exercise? Drop. Hip drop. The, the hip, hip drop. drop. Yeah, and you just drive it straight across that way. Okay. Okay. All right. I don't really know what I'm doing. Well, you're doing a but leg my lift pants over there. Look but we want to do this. We want to move this way. <laughs> All right, what's next? Lateral. All right, now come back down to the mat. Yep. Okay. So here, 
again, it's all about integrating the muscles together. So when we have, we've done a plank before, I'm sure. So if you get down yep. in this position, oh, have yes. your hand this way, though. This okay, way. Turn it in. Turn that one in. Okay. Now, holding a position like this is going to be challenging enough. But what you want to do is rotate and then lift up from the side. So we're going to get that oh. side pillar strength. Oh, yeah. That needs right? a lot of work. Down. But when you come back again, the tendency is going to want to be to fall. But you have to control that. <laughs> right. right. So you rotate and up. Obviously, you're working both sides here. But the key to this is that you're working these hip flexor free ab movements. Right. Right, because the hip flexors, when they get overdeveloped, will pull on your low back and cause more pain. Right, okay. Right. So then what we want to do from there is an actual super, super easy exercise, but it kind of reinforces everything we've already talked about. So it's just so clear, we do these things and we look, we come out like you? Exactly. Oh. That's it. I'm in. Is it's it working? <laughs> it's a slow process. We we're starting right from the shoes okay, what's up. This it was very close. So what we do now, it is actually a Pilates movement. It's a roll up. You take your arms, you get as long as you can. Point uh -huh. your feet that way, arms this way, come all the way up. It's a good stretch when you reach, but the key is how you go back down. What you have to do is you have to lower yourself down one vertebrae uh, at a time. Oh. Hold it tight, hold it slow, tight, and very go down. And what this is yeah, doing really is teaching us that segmental mobility yeah. that we need too in order to keep that back moving the way it should. Because remember, right. once the back stops moving the way it should, then you start to get those cramps and spasms and everything else. Right. Great stuff. Thank you very much. And it takes no equipment. You can follow him on Instagram at AthleanX. Jeff is there for these tips and more. Visit our website. And we will be right back. <laughs>